Hello and welcome back to Pangarniwang Developer Data Representations Track. Ito na yung huling lesson dito sa subtrack na to. After this, pwede na kayo dumaretso dun sa Program Structure Track at makaumbisa na kayo mag-program. For this lesson, just going to wrap up lang yung ating reference data types yung hindi na na-discuss last time, which is yung string at yung record. Yung string na daanan na nanto dun sa pointer, so it's essentially text. Bakit tinawag na string? Well, yung string, it's a list of characters strung together as text. Parang yung mga necklaces, parang yung mga bracelets, yung mga may beads, so they're strung together yung mga beads nun. Yung pag-string na yun, that's a historical term and it's stuck. Kahit sabihin natin, mas mabuti na gamitin yung term na text over string, Well, mahirap kasing i-abandon yung uh, nakasanayan na ng mga computer scientists. Kaya hanggang ngayon, string pa rin tawag natin sa mga series or a list of characters. Anyway, yung sa string, wala naman ganong pwedeng sabihin sa string. Bukod sa iba-iba talaga implementation nito. Depende sa language, depende sa framework. Yung pagkita natin before, that was yung sa C. Paano tayo nagre-represent ng string sa C, which is yung essentially an array of characters na tineterminate ng isang null terminator. Sa ibang languages, kasi sobrang dalas mong ginagamit yung text natin, ginagamit yung string. Kasi nga, yun naman yung madalas sa ikita ng tao. So, ikita ka ng website, that entire website is essentially just a string. Or kung meron kang ginawang application, yung mga error messages, string yun. Kaya may mga languages na instead na reference data type siya, ginawa na nilang parang basic na data type. So that's dun sa mga more, sabihin natin, high level languages. But for lower level languages, hindi may wasa na pointer talaga ang implementation yan kasi it's a series of characters eh. Anyway, later nyo na lang yan sa software development track when nagpipili na kayo ng language, yun na lang po problemahin ko na implementation nun. So, yun. Yun lang naman. String, it's text, and it varies in implementation. And finally, yung record natin, ito yung last na major data type natin, it's data that is composed of other data types. So, hindi siya kagaya ng say, integer, na integer lang siya. Record, It's a data type made out of other data types. For example, nware meron tayong record for time. So yung mga records natin, they're usually built in sa ating mga languages sa ating mga frameworks. And if that language or framework supports records, it also allows us to define our own records. So itong time record most likely tayo gumawa niyan. Sinabi natin yung time record, meron siyang hours, minutes, and seconds. And yung hours, minutes, and seconds natin, sinor natin siya sa byte integer. Kaya isang byte lang yun. Ito yung magiging itsura ng ating record. Kaya yun, it's a reference to uh, memory location kung saan nakahilera yung ating hours, minutes, at seconds. For this example, same yung data type niya. Tignan natin kung ano mayayari pag iba-iba yung data type natin. Example, gawa tayo ng isang person record na sinostore yung marital status, yung civil status ng isang tao, yung name niya, pati yung age. For example, si Juan de la Cruz, married siya at age niya is 32. A possible record could look like this. So, again, it's a reference. So, nakalagay, nag, so nag-uumpisa siya sa address 2000. Then, dun sa, simula sa address 2000, sunod-sunod na nakalagay yung mga data natin. Defined dun sa mismong kung saan man dinefine natin yung record. So, alam natin yung unang data is a boolean. So, yung boolean natin, stinore natin in a single byte na boolean. So, true siya. Yung next na byte, actually, next na 4 bytes, contains the address of the string para dun sa ating Juan de la Cruz. Then, yung the next byte is yung kung saan nakalagay yung age. And it's also a byte integer, kaya isang byte lang yun. 
kahit naman short int yan or normal na 32 bit wala tayong pangalam kasi yun ay end eh. so yun so yun lang uh, a record allows you to conveniently group yung ating data sa isang location kasi kunwari gusto mong store ito at tayo mong gamitin record pwede yun gawin pero ang problema mo lang dun hiwa-hiwalay yung data mo hindi siya nalagay sa isang location such that madali, hindi siya ganun, basta hindi siya ganun kadali ipasa, hindi siya ganun kadali process And as much as possible nga, pagdating tayo sa programs natin, we try our best to reduce yung complexity ng programs natin. And with records, yun nga, you don't need to keep track of a lot of pieces of data. Most records can come with 2 to 10 data na nasa loob sa nila. And sure, you could keep track of all of them independent of a record. Pero pag nasa sa record siya, diyamak, mas madali siyang i-process, mas madali siyang galawin, mas madali siyang gawa ng mga programs around. Anyway, so yun. So yun lang. Records, it's a certain data type that allows an aggregation of data types. Important ito kasi maraming mga future concepts that rely on the record. Itong record na pinakita natin, it's similar dun sa struct ng C. Pero pagdating dun sa ibang lessons, for instance, yung object-oriented programming, yung mga properties, yung state ng ating objects, they're essentially records. Also, pagdating mo dun sa medyo malayong lesson, parang layo eh. Dito medyo low level tayo bago yung lesson na yun is database programming. Yung ating mga database concepts, yung SQL, they also rely on records. Kasi each record mo sa database is a record in the computer science sense that they are made up of other data types. Anyway, so yun lang. Last lesson nga to dun sa ating uh, data representation track. So, pwede nga yung mag-proceed dun sa program structure track. Hindi na kayo malilito-lito kung ano yung mga ginagamit natin data, pinapasa-pasa natin sa mga operators at functions natin. However, if you have the time, pwede nyo rin tignan yung mga iba pang data types natin. For example, yung mga streams, yung mga files natin, and kung ano man yung mga na-miss ko at hindi ko pa na iisip na idagdag rito sa track na to.